हे एवरीवन नमस्ते माय नेम इज चंद्रपाल तिवारी ओम एंड आई टीच हिस्ट्री ऑन अन अकेडमी प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर एन टी यू जी सी नेट एंड सेट सेक्शन सो दिस इज मी इट्स नॉट एन ऑफिशियल लॉन्च ऑफ माय यूट्यूब चैनल बट स्टिल वेलकम ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल बेसिकली व्हाट्स द थिंग इज is that like examination is just around the corner like just last week and uh, these are like some short short videos i'm going to upload uh, for my regular students uh, to help them in whatever way i can uh, in this last week of preparation uh, so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to do all these uh, like upload uh, some small small videos uh, on some important factual topics and we are going to cover that quickly so uh, let's get to it basically uh, what i will do today is uh, have a quick look on the prehistoric sites uh, and uh, we are going to look towards the uh, like uh, the paleolithic and mesolithic sites so before talking about these paleolithic and mesolithic sites in india uh, let's go to this table because this table is a bit important because uh, like uh, it it talks about this this table is from upendra bams book so this table tells us about a short differentiation between all the phases like uh, all the prehistoric phases from your paleolithic to neolithic but if we focus on uh, like just paleolithic and mesolithic phase so we find here that uh, just a moment we find here that uh, th there have been certain changes been occurring from your uh, paleolithic to mesolithic or this paleolithic has been divided into three phases like lower paleolithic middle paleolithic and upper paleolithic and then mesolithic you know, because these are the lithic ages and they are the stone ages so we differentiate them on the basis of the tool types they were handling so if we talk about like paleolithic tool types if we see like paleolithic tool types so we are seeing the uh, seeing the pebbles the core tools hand axes clevers chopping tools and all and then middle paleolithic uh, during the middle paleolithic we are finding like uh, the flake tools they emerged uh, in in large number then we have the blade tools uh, they they made on flakes they were the differentiation in your uh, or they occurred during the time of upper paleolithic so basically like uh, lower paleolithic we have the hand axes and clevers in fact hand axes and clevers they are found throughout india except uh, the regions like sohan valley this sohan valley or sohan valley uh, it uh, produces the pebble kind of tools or the core kind of tools pebble tools uh, both of plateau and sohan valley so that that's sometimes even called as sonian culture tools and these like hand axes clevers and chopping tools they have called as madrasian kind of tools or aculian kind of tools now aculian tools madrasian tools you know, or even the sonian tools they are uh, like related to your lower paleolithic time period most of the uh, like the basic rock which were used to make these tools it was quartz so that's why sometimes uh, like uh, the paleolithic uh, paleolithic people in general or lower paleolithic people in in particular they are called as quartzite man then we are seeing like during the middle paleolithic time period the flake tools they started being um, occurring what are the flake tools you are giving a crude shape to the stones by chipping them off then we are making blade during the upper paleolithic time period and during the mesolithic time period we are seeing like uh, the tools they have become microliths or they have become the pygmy tools which we say are very small tools okay very tiny or small or pygmy tools they up, uh, appear in the scene during the time of mesolithic time period <clears throat> so these are like lower paleolithic middle paleolithic upper paleolithic and mesolithic these are the area uh, th these are the phases which we are going to talk about basically the sites related to it uh, if you see this table uh, so you will find like even geological conditions are a bit changing from your paleolithic to mesolithic like uh, from pleistocene to holocene pleistocene is like your ice age and uh, holocene is your post ice age okay so uh, let's uh, let let's get to the all the important uh, sites related to your uh, th th these paleolithic and mesolithic time period so first if we talk about the lower paleolithic sites so these are certain sites you must be seeing on your screen and before talking about like uh, further about all these sites i'm so sorry for the echo uh, it will improve over time period because i'm recording this video in urgency and in a hall that's why like you are hearing this echo but still like i hope keep, you are getting whatever i want to convey to you guys yeah uh, talking about uh, like the lower paleolithic sites so these are certain sites you are seeing in this slide and uh, like we have certain sites in punjab the son river valley and the potwar uh, we have talked about these son river valley and potwar they actually gave us some certain uh, types of pebble tools 
okay which are a bit different from other tool types found in in india like uh, the madrasian tool types which we know of and then uh, like uh, so 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 many were very that's why it becomes quite important for us then we have the kashmir uh, halgam area lidar valley in himachal pradesh we have vyas gangana uh, river valley then sisra uh, river valley in rio rajasthan we find like uh, at many places in chittorgarh in your nagaur in didwana these places we find like uh, lower paleolithic tools gujarat we have sabarmati river valley umrethi these river valleys um, madhya pradesh it's like uh, or your central india it's like we find so many caches of lower paleolithic tools from here like we have hathnaura uh, where the earliest fossil of women's skull has been found here now this women's skull it belonged to your homo erectus at first it is considered as belonging to homo erectus so if you find uh, like uh, different options are given and if you are finding homo erectus homo sapiens homo habilis and all you are going to take homo erectus but arish sharma he has mentioned that uh, this very woman he was archaic homo sapiens somewhere between homo erectus and homo sapiens okay so yeah but from lower paleolithic site of madhya pradesh hathnaura we find here like this fossil of uh, human uh, a woman's skull apart from that like adamgarh bhim betka these are the sites uh, in the vindhyan region near bhim betka there is another site guys uh, that site is near bhim betka i'm talking about the name of the site is your barkhera this site is also a bit important for our low paleolithic point of view then there is another site in your mp and that site is basically uh, in putlikarar this putlikarar site it's in raisen district of mp so these are certain sites related to lower paleolithic then we have uttar pradesh mirzapur even in fact uttar pradesh we have this belan valley it is very important because in belan valley you will find like uh, the sites related to your lower paleolithic middle paleolithic and upper paleolithic all of these sites they you will find there then um, like Uh, we have in bihar munger and rajgir jharkhand singhum hazari bag these are the areas jahan pe aapko lower paleolithic sites dekhne ko milti hain then we have uh, certain sites in west bengal like uh, also in odisha maharashtra uh, maharashtra site uh, regarding maharashtra there is a site in maharashtra called bori and this site is considered as the earliest paleolithic or prehistoric Uh, human settlement site in india then we have uh, the sites in andhra pradesh karnataka and tamil nadu not that much important but yeah we do find such sites uh, like uh, in different parts moving towards the other is that is our middle paleolithic so we have these sites related to your middle paleolithic now if we talk about like these sites so uh, first uh, like uh, the, the middle paleolithic like we have seen the table it's known for the flake industry it's flake industry okay you are chipping the stone and to give it a some some crude desired shape we are seeing the middle pleistocene and upper pleistocene uh, time period is like uh, a geological changes is happening here uh, middle paleolithic se related agar sites ki baat kare so we have uh, like uh, the sites in afghanistan or northwest of this indian subcontinent we have sanghao cave sanghao cave is it's in the northwest frontier province and uh, No, it it, it belongs to your middle paleolithic like thousands of stone tools have been found from sanghao cave apart from the bones of animals and humans and even we find the evidence of hearth from sanghao cave uh, like uh, also like we have punjab and sohan and indus river valleys it's like middle paleolithic sites pahalgam area Him himachal pradesh ke kuch areas rajasthan gujarat मध्य प्रदेश की अगर हम बात करें तो लाइक वी हैव द भीम बेट का देन वी हैव पांडव पर्वत देन शिवल समनपुर दीज आर द एरियाज यहाँ पे आपको लाइक यू विल फाइंड द मिडल पैलोथिक रिलेटेड साइट्स देन वी हैव यूपी इन केस ऑफ यूपी यू नीड टू लाइक रिमेंबर टू थ्री साइट्स बेसिकली गाइज अगेन इन यूपी यू नीड टू रिमेंबर बेलन वैली बेलन वैली इज अगेन इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज बेलन वैली गिव्स अ सर्टन साइट्स it it's rich in because belan, belan valley it lies in the vindhyan foothill so uh, vindhyan foothill is known for its like uh, abundance of stone uh, that's why like this site was preferred by a prehistoric human uh, so belan valley it's important site then we have another uh, site uh, like uh, 
in your uh, up that's your kalpi okay this kalpi it again become uh, like important site in your uh, uh, like up why kalpi becomes important site because the earliest trace of human occupation in the ganga plain has been found in kalpi kalpi is in jalon district of up so that's why this kalpi site it become important for us uh, apart from that like uh, we have the sites in um, singbum and palmu district if we talk about like the river valleys there is another river well uh, river valley that is in your rajasthan area and this river valley guys it is your luni river valley just a moment yeah your luni river valley the luni river valley or luni river system in your rajasthan area it is basically known for um, the prehistoric sites you like uh, even middle paleolithic site you will find the luni uh, uh, like in luni river system or, Lu or luni river valley this valley is important because by upper paleolithic time period we will find like a different set of uh, stone tools which were uh, which have some sort of a regional variation occur here at the prehistoric level and sometimes we call these tools as a luni river technology or luni uh, luni system of tools uh, apart from that uh, we also find if we are talking about like uh, northwest india and uh, there is a site in uh, there is basically a hill in sindh area that is rori hills this is also an important um, site jahan pe aapko middle paleolithic se related aapko sites mil jate hain okay so luni system or luni river valley that's your rajasthan known for its uh, different kind of tool industry mm, uh, you, you'll find here then we have the sin rori hill area the sin area here as well you'll find um, like uh, various middle paleolithic sites mm. in fact rajasthan we have the wagao area we have or kadamali this is this is like a mewad area it it becomes an important district jahan pe aapko middle paleolithic se related sites aapko dekhne ko mil jati hain there is uh, one more like uh, middle paleolithic site if we talk about like central india central and a bit like deccan area so we have in towards your maharashtra basically in your maharashtra we we have uh, one industry which have been tool making industry which have been found at chirki in near nevasa in, or in nevasa district so that's your chirki nevasa this also gives us a different set of tools like the luni hill tools you know, and sometimes it is also called as nevasan industry like we find it at luni industry same we say at nevasan industry they are like the sub type of your madrasian tool cultures which we find from related to your paleolithic time period throughout india okay uh, apart from that bhim betka and uh, maharashtra mein even the patne is very important and all these sites they are kind of like uh, important for us moving on we have like uh, the sites in west bengal odisha maharashtra like we have already mentioned about nevasa we have andhra pradesh karnool this site is very very important for us then uh, you have karnataka tamil nadu we have certain sites which are not as important uh, because the paleolithic time period in your tamil nadu or in south india it's a bit debatable moving on uh, towards the site related to sorry upper paleolithic time period so if we talk about like upper paleolithic time period so these are certain sites related to this time period uh, again uh, here we find like in northern vindhyas we have two very important sites like we have the belan river valley this belan valley it's it's a very very important uh, like site which you start finding here and then we have uh, like the site in son river valley so we have two river valleys one is belan and another is son river valley and these two areas they give us various upper paleolithic sites animal bones um, have been found here in fact uh, during this time period uh, like uh, we also at at many places we find some certain imprints of 
domestication of animals so it also says that uh, that maybe there there was happening some early stage of animal domestication which we find even in in like at a, as a, as a more prominent activity during the time of mesolithic and then neolithic so uh, if we talk about like certain sites like afghanistan sanghao cave again very important in indus river valley and rohri hills they are important rohri hills they are in sindh then uh, rajasthan this budha puskar area uh, it's it's a it's basically budha puskar in azmer budha puskar it's a lake and near this lake we find various Uh, like uh, paleolithic sites then uh, even uh, like if we talk about in eastern india if we go towards eastern india we'll find that uh, the sites in your bihar like uh, if we talk about eastern india we have site in bihar like pasra it's an important site pasra uh, even like we have the chota nagpur plateau it gives us certain upper paleolithic sites uh, then moving back we have certain other sites in your uttar pradesh like apart from belan river valley uh, like uh, here in lohana nala region in allahabad district or um, like modern day your prayagraj districts basically in this prayagraj district we find uh, in lohana nala region we find a bone made artifacts which sometimes called as it's a statue of matri devi or some scholars say that it's not the statue of matri devi but it's a bone harpoon which have been found from upper paleolithic time period then we have jharkhand singhbhum area uh, we have maharashtra patne we, uh, here we have found the axles of ostrich in fact the ostrich axles have been found uh, throughout india at various sites related to uh, upper paleolithic time period but here we uh, at patne we find the beads made from the axles of ostrich mm, one more thing is that uh, this time period there is another site that's the sites of andhra pradesh which becomes quite important for us like we have the sites of reni gunta bemula we have uh, yeragondapalam sorry for my uh, pronunciation but we have uh, the caves in karnu like bilasarganam caves where we find the remains of hearth and this is the earliest site of hearth findings in india because we know like sanghao caves which gives us hearth it's not in india so uh, also karnu is uh, known for like because at upper paleolithic Uh, level we find in karnul bone implements okay so we started finding bone implements in uh, at uh, at at karnul and bone horn made implements remains have been found from upper paleolithic sites in karnul this become very very important for us so uh, guys these are certain sites uh, certain important sites related to your paleolithic india now let's move towards the sites related to mesolithic time period now uh, like if we talk about the mesolithic time period uh, we have again mesolithic it's a time period when we have the pygmy tools appear okay how do you recognize that this site is a mesolithic site you find the pygmy tools or you start finding microliths if you are finding microliths that means this site becomes a you know, or uh, it, 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 this site is definitely a mesolithic site in large number of cases um, like especially in your northeastern india or some portion of your south india you you will find like uh, microliths but their time period or their corresponding time period it's much much later that's why uh, it becomes a bit debatable for us but uh, like throughout india like in or central india or um, in the plateau area or in north india or northwest india microliths cache if we are finding that means like we are talking about mesolithic sites moving area wise like if we talk about rajasthan so we have a basin Uh, like uh, that is pachpadra basin it gives us a lot of microliths pachpadra basin then we have there is the sujat area even here we find um, uh, microliths the significant habitation site related to mesolithic time period has been also discovered from tilwara area this tilwara area then um, one very very important site from rajasthan and this site it has been like one of the largest mesolithic site in india it is one of the best documented mesolithic site in india that is our bagor this bagor site um, it, it's in bhilwara district again just please remember bhilwara district and uh, the river site jiske bagal ye bagor hai aapka that's the name of the river is kothari 
just remember this thing kothari here we find three occupational level period 1 period 2 and period 3 in period 1 is your mesolithic period 2 is your chalcolithic period 3 is your, uh, it gives the evidence of iron use and uh, now bagor one thing about bagor is it's a largest mesolithic site domesticated bones uh, all these things have been found here but we do not find pottery it's an as ceramic uh, mesolithic site Uh, now, uh, like uh, we also find here at Bagor, we find one burial as well. There has been found one burial, okay, in Bagor. Um, animals bones, like I was mentioning, we find a lot of animal bones from this area. Now, moving towards next area uh, of Mesolithic time period, then uh, we have Gujarat. now the gujarat uh, like uh, basically the river valleys of tapti of uh, narmada of mahi of sabarmati these are the river valleys which yield many uh, mesolithic sites in gujarat uh, if we talk about like uh, the names of these sites so the site like akhaj then uh, the site like uh, valasana then the site like uh, hirpur and here comes the most important site that is your langnaj this langnaj it becomes an important site uh, langnaj it situated at the eastern bank of sabarmati just remember this site is very very important because uh, at the mesolithic level at uh, gujarat near langnaj or in langnaj we find the evidence of ceramics we are talking about pottery which is very rare uh, considering your mesolithic time period uh, moving towards other areas like uh, we have now uttar pradesh uttar pradesh become very important because satpuras they are rich in mesolithic sites we have three very important excavated site in your uttar pradesh like uh, we have the very first site which is called as sarayanahar rai sarayanahar rai this is the very first site uh, which have been found uh, this sarayanahar rai it's uh, near uh, uh, like prayagraj in a pratapgarh district here in sarayanahar rai we find tools the pygmy tools or the geometric tools or small tools or microliths all of them they are talking about mesolithic sites mm, we also th these sites it, it, this site is known for its burials so uh, we find 11 human burials uh, 9 men and 4 women and even a child has been found here mm, one of the buried skeletons here had an arrow embedded in its rib so arrow in the rib case It has been found from your Sarayana Harai. Microlith tools, animal bones, shells—they have been found from here. And then another site which becomes important in this area is the site of, uh, which, which and and this site is near Sarayana Harai only. This is the site of Mahadha. Mahadha. Now here at Mahadha, uh, it is on the bank of Oxbow Lake, and. Uh, again microliths have been found from here again it's a burial site it's a burial like sarayanar uh, sarayanar we find burials and in fact 28 burials of 13 individuals have been found including two instances of a man and woman buried together mm, burials were mostly elliptical or their base bases were sloping at mahadha we find various animal bones and um, the bones of animals have been found from mahadha then uh, we have another site nearby it's uh, the site of damdama to so, sarayanahar rai mahadha and damdama they become very important site for us uh, so uh, this damdama it's basically again it gives us various microliths excavators they even discovered bone objects squans mulers and hammer stones from here it's again a burial site gives us burials in fact to tell you guys uh, from mesolithic time period onwards we start finding burials burials and some grave goods they, they have been start uh, like uh, they have been started from your mesolithic time period 
uh, and uh, if you say like uh, in the in the whole human history what were the first races who started doing this burial pra practices so it was your neanderthals who started doing it if we uh, talk about in case of india so it's your homo sapiens homo sapiens who occurred who appeared somewhere around your upper paleolithic time period they started doing this burial practice like if we are talking about the mesolithic time period we are basically talking about uh, your homo sapiens Anyway, uh, coming back to our uh, discussion, basically at Damdama we find burials. In fact, uh, here in the burials we find four multiple burials, like more than one skeleton have been found here. In total, 41 skeletons, human burials, have been found from this place. Damdama, it's uh, also known for uh, an ivory pendant which have been found here, an ivory pendant. Recently, uh, there have been some charred wild rice grain has been found from this area. Okay, so um, like uh, some 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 say it, it's a wild rice, and some say maybe it was um, like a more domesticated rice. How how you differentiate between the wild rice and domesticated rice? You basically see like wild rice, it it's uh, or basically the wild plant they are shorter, and even their like the seeds they are smaller uh, then uh, in Uttar Pradesh only apart from these three sites Sarayana, Raya, Mahadaha and Damdama uh, these sites they are like nearby we have the sites in Morhana Pahar area this Morhana Pahar it become very important for us UP ki hi baat kar rahe hum, Morhana Pahar then we have uh, the sites in Lekhania This Lekhania, it becomes an important, it's a rock shelter. Mirzapur district ke paas aapko milta hai. It has uh, yielded us microlates, blade tools, burials have also been found, and so was pottery. That's big make this site very important because, like I was mentioning, Mesolithic time period say pottery aapko bhoat kam pe milti hai. Okay, uh, then uh, apart from Lekhania, we have also another site that is Baghai Khor. Bakhai Khor site uh, that's also in your uh, in, in UP only. Mm. How can we forget Balan Valley? Balan Valley, it's an important site. And in Balan Valley, we find a site. Name of that site is Chopani Mando. Please, please remember the name Chopani Mando. Okay, so yeah, this site becomes very, very important because from Chopani Mando area. Uh, we find uh, huts though like the earliest hut uh, evidence has been found from Basra, Bihar but uh, here in Chupani Mando as well we find huts made on wattle and dog model in the uh, uh, like different course like when we are going, when, we'll, when we will deal with this topic in detail I will show you the picture of wattle and dog but yeah wattle and dog huts they have been found here round huts apart from that at at the later Mesolithic level from your Chopani Mando, we find the evidence of wild rice. Okay, the evidence of wild rice have been found from your Chopani Mando. Okay, so uh, like uh, all these areas, they become very, very important for us. I hope like uh, you guys are keeping in track. Now, uh, moving towards the next area, that is your Madhya Pradesh. So again, Madhya Pradesh, the Vindhyas, they are quite rich in these like uh, microlithic tools and microlithic sites. We have the very prominent Bhimbetka. Bhimbetka, it, uh, it, it's, it's a favorable site for the historic human. Apart from that, in Hosangabad district, we find Adamgarh. Even at Adamgar, we find the Mesolithic sites. Mm, they, they lie towards south of Beam Betka. Uh, here we find the geometric microliths, animal bones. Even uh, the site has given at Mesolithic level some evidences of pottery. Then again, in Son Valley, uh, there is another site that is Baghor. This Baghor, uh, Baghor. Uh, is basically its site in Madhya Pradesh which gives us both Paleolithic and Mesolithic 
mesolithic evidences okay uh, moving towards some other areas if we talk about like eastern india so we do find certain sites in your chota nagpur plateau in eastern india Ch chota nagpur plateau uh, also the coastal plains of odisha they give us some sites related to your mesolithic time period in your brahmaputra valley shillong plateau they gives us some some sites related to mesolithic time periods there is this area called kuchai it gives us uh, some some mesolithic artifacts and then uh, like uh, in meghalaya we have the areas of sebalgiri and uh, we have this garo hills yahan pe aapko mesolithic tools dekhne ko mil jate hain but again like i was mentioning a bit debatable and then uh, eastern india agar hum baat kare mesolithic time period pasra um it's a uh, apart from microliths there have been evidences of large and small fireplaces positioned very close to each other near pasra to pasra we find even fireplaces then uh, moving towards west bengal we have the sites like uh, birbhanpur again a very important site this birbhanpur it gives us some evidence of uh, mesolithic factory and habitation sites then we have uh, like uh, microliths have also been found um, from your karnataka uh, like uh, from karnataka we find even sangankallu area this sangankallu area in your karnataka it gives us certain microliths then uh, like uh, if you move to more towards south to like uh, we have karnool the karnool caves like i was mentioning karnool it becomes like very important area uh, not just uh, from karnool but even like nagarjun konda it becomes like a important site nagarjun konda nagarjun konda then we have uh, even the reni konda area reni konda area and then we have certain other sites if we talk about karnataka um, the sites of jallahalli and the site of kibanhalli so these are some of the sites which have been uh, known for like uh, no no uh, no mesolithic sites and uh, some of the sites in your karnataka they are uh, like they belong to mesolithic and they are known for using milky quartz in making the stones okay milky quartz so yeah uh, these are some of the sites which i wanted to mention to you guys i hope you guys have taken a lot of attention uh, in like uh, in these sites and i hope like aapka uh, uh, thoda sa ye topic uh, paleolithic and mesolithic site ka revise ho gaya hoga i hope you enjoyed uh, this small video as well a small session which we conducted here uh, so please uh, like give your feedback comment like and also share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel uh, i am planning to upload more and more videos on this channel okay bye bye guys thank you so much for seeing this video bye bye